Miss Cuddle. Miss Copil. All right. We're waiting for her. I'm so excited. In the house. Yes. <laughs> Look at those earrings. Woo! <laughs> I tried to funk it up with the accessories today. Actually, it was a coincidence. I already was wearing these. And then you messaged me being like, let's wear funky accessories. And yes, that's convenient. It's called the wear your weird shit style challenge. It's perfect. I love that. Always. Name. Basically I me can, every day. Yeah, no, I can latch on to that. Like there's so many challenges right now. Are you doing any of those challenges? Um, I've been I did one today. I'm on like Man Repeller's um, thought line. They're doing this like thing where they're like texting. If you sign up for their um, list, they text you like three times a day with random stuff. And they okay. do like these working from home outfit challenges in the morning. Nice. So I did that today. It's kind of fun. Today's was um, dress up like your alter ego and then oh. like, have like a funny name. Mine was, uh, mine was, so I have on this like Victorian shirt with like, Oh, wool well, like sweat trousers. I love it. Gorgeous. Um, so my alter ego was the Victorian Annie Hall. Yeah, I totally love yeah. that vibe. Yeah, it's definitely coming across. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it's fun. I recommend signing up for it. It's, it's uh, so this is Man Repeller. Yeah, Man Repeller. Awesome. I, they're calling it like their thought line, I think it's called. Oh, sorry, okay. I'm gonna like, set up a stand here so I don't have to hold my phone. There so where are you? You're in Chicago? Yeah, I'm in Chicago. Chicago, the Windy City. The I'm Windy in Vancouver. City. Yeah, it's, um, it's, we're having like random days that feel like spring, but it's not yeah. really spring yet. It's kind of like gloomy out today. Um, yeah. But yeah. How are you <laughs> feeling, love? How are you doing with, with all this? Um, I'm okay. Taking it day by day. It's, um... I, I think you know this, so my dad passed away like a month ago. I know, I wanted to extend year. my deepest condolences to you and your family. Thank you so much. So that's been, that's, I mean, that's yeah. been horrible, because it was like so Like, long. all I together at once. Like, I yeah, can't. and then it's just been so hard. Like, it's kind of, it's just so crappy, because like, I can't see my family, and all I want to do now is like, go out for drinks with my friends. <laughs> I like, can't yeah. do that. So it's been like, lots of FaceTime, and yeah. Thank God for technology. That's all. I yes. Guess. Seriously. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's been. I feel very grateful for that, and also that, um, you know, I have a job where I can work from home, and I was able to take time off just to kind of. Amazing. You know. Yeah. yeah. How are no, you? Doing? You need that. You need that time. My God. Yeah. I can imagine. It's, yeah, I still feel like a zo like I still feel like a zombie, and like I feel like my head's in space, but. I'm doing my best. <laughs> yeah, girl. I mean, it's day by day. Um, you know, no one expects expects you to push yourself beyond what you're comfortable right now. And it's all about healing yourself. Yeah. That self care and um, yeah, taking the time you need. I know it's hard. I feel like I'm very. Um, I feel like I'm hard on myself. So I I like yeah. I do like guilt tripping or like why am I not doing this or I should be doing this and like I think it's really important in times like this and this kind of applies for everyone of just like it's okay to to let yourself win and just stay in bed if you need to or just Absolutely. binge watch a Netflix show like it's okay yeah. it's time to just take time for you and it's okay to not be productive Absolutely. <laughs> for a little bit you know well that's but that's healing your body and healing your, your mind like you don't always have to be do, 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 doing. And your, your body needs that rest and your mind needs that rest to just do nothing, right? Like, yeah. Um, yes. And like, you know, all the waves of emotion that people are going through now, and especially losing a loved one. Um, you know, just get, just being gentle with yourself. And um, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying. Nurturing, yeah. How are things um, with you? You're in- I'm in Vancouver. Vancouver, Vancouver. Yeah, um, things are pretty good. I, I'm just, uh, my parents live in the same city. They moved here a few years ago from Montreal. I'm from Montreal originally. Um, it's, so it's springtime now and the buds are and the flowers are coming out. And, um, you know, we just went for walks and, and but we, you know, we're, we're professional musicians and I'm a bit of a homebody when I'm not performing. Cause like yeah. my job is to show up and be a party. So I'm not a, 
type of person who I like to go out on my days off. So <laughs> this is kind of like I'm living my best life. Right yeah, now. you're on vacation. <laughs> it's like I'm living my best. I mean, this is this is um, yeah, we're all kind of on a uh, mandatory staycation right now. So <laughs> yeah. I so are you somebody asked, are you working from home right now? Cuddle yeah, I am. So our offices are shut down till the near future. So basically, yeah, we're, I'm working from home. I just I just went went back to work. Yeah, like yesterday was my first day back after yeah. everything happened. Um, so it's a weird adjustment. I'm trying to like get dressed and still pretend like I'm going somewhere. Good. To keep That's my good. own sanity. <laughs> Do you find it gets you more productive? I think so. Like it makes me feel like ready. Yeah, I, I feel like on when I'm dressed up versus yeah. like being in pajamas in my bed, like you, you don't have the same energy, or at least I don't have like the same energy levels. I think a lot of us are the same. Like, I think that's why the purpose of all these challenges right now with the yeah. like, different dressing is like, don't stay in your pajamas all day. <laughs> I mean, do if you need to. Yeah. Cause we've all had those days, right? But try not to get into the cycle. And so I think it brings you a boost of energy when you do totally. get dressed up. Yeah. And I feel like I, I, so I didn't dress up for like two, three weeks and I just felt like, so I felt in a rut, right? Like, I'm like, yeah. oh, I don't even know, like getting dressed seems so overwhelming. What am I inspired by right now? So I feel like when you lose that for a long time, it's like hard to get back in, in your groove. Yeah, totally. Um, so is there something that has been like, that you've taken into account like a, maybe like a thought or uh something that's motivating you right now to to get up and at him and get dressed um, maybe self-care or yeah i think for me what's motivating me is just like trying to, to get back to normal you know after yeah. that happened yeah um so that's kind of what's motivating me now of like just trying to feel like myself again um Self-care, I mean, I'm, I'm just kind of, I'm doing my normal stuff. I'm, like, pretty much, you know, trying to keep up with, like, my skincare routine. And, like, yeah. it sounds stupid, but, like, all popping, by the way. Oh, oh thanks. <laughs> um, so I'm trying to do all of that. Uh, but, yeah, trying to go for walks, like, during, like, trying to go out for at least, like, 30, 40 minutes a day. That's great. At-home workouts when I can. Peloton is doing 90 days free trial, by the way. So Ooh. I've doing that it's pretty awesome okay like drink classes and yoga like all the stuff is on there and you just need like a set of dumbbells and sweet it's awesome yeah i've been doing that too i actually teach my own classes now online oh nice so i was teaching like at a studio every week and of course the studio shut down so i'm like screw this i'm gonna just get on facebook and yeah you know, message everybody I know, hey, let's do this together because otherwise I'm going to be lying in bed until noon. Yep. <laughs> if I, I did for a while. Getting in purpose. Long. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, what um, kind of classes do you teach? I teach, um, I teach a class called Belly Fit, which is a women's holistic class. It's belly dance with yoga uh, and a little bit like African dance. So it's like high energy. But then I do like the yoga version as well. There's two times, kinds. So I do that. And then I also teach like a tone and sculpt, which is cardio and like dumbbells. Oh, fun. Yeah. Have you done any of them on your IG live? I haven't done it here because this is my style page. So I don't want people yeah. to be like, what the hell is she doing? But <laughs> Wait, I, fashion, fashion account or fitness? Like choose one. So I do that on my Facebook. Um, I have Third Eye Babe Wellness. So I've, I've, I, I've done all the training and, and uh, certification in that. And that's really my whole approach to my life. Like, you know, just find the joy in your movement, in your posture, in your breath, in your clothing, you know, all of it. So what do you want to talk about? Do you want to tell us about skincare or what's coming up for you in your blog, blog, any videos coming up? Yeah, I mean, I've been so bad about posting on YouTube, but I'm going to do my best to film something this week. I think I'm going to do something around like spring trends. Or maybe like 90s, like how to dress 90s for spring, because I'm really feeling the 90s right now. Great. Somebody was asking me about spring trends. Somebody was asking me about spring trends, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just did a bunch of, I mean, we could chat about spring trends. I did some shopping this week, actually. 
I'm into the vests right now, so I bought a couple oh, of vests. I need a vest so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's I one trend actually that I need to jump on because yeah. I, I used to love vests and I got rid of them all. Me too. So I bought. I have two now. They're both black. One is leather that has like a cool like chain situation. I bought nice. vintage when I was in California, and then really? I bought, I bought like a vintage Burberry one that's like more like wow. Clean. So have a couple of vests, so I'm big on that. I'm trying to figure out, like, having fun, like, figuring out, like, how to style them, because it's, like, a new piece that I haven't had in my closet for a while. What else? Long shorts, like, Bermuda shorts. I just bought a couple of those this week. Cool. Uh, waiting to get them in. Um, I'm not, like, a shorts person normally. Like, I never no. felt comfortable in shorts. Yeah. But I feel like these are longer, so I could, you know, I feel like I could swing them. Like, I I'll be good yeah. with it. Um, what else what do you am I think doing? about shorts? Of, like, that's the thing on long, sh long shorts on a lot of people, depending on their height. Like, I'm 5'3, I don't know. I mean, depending if it hits me on the right place on my leg, it yeah. can either like cut me off or look great. Yep, yeah, I'm 5'5, five five, so I, I kind of feel you, I feel you on that. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're petites. <laughs> yep, yep, with the petite club. Um, so where do you find all your amazing vintage stuff? Oh man, it's kind of a mix. So yeah. when I'm not in quarantine, I do a lot of thrifting. Um, Did you online as well? I don't thrift online as much. No. I do buy, I, I don't know, like, would you consider like Depop and, and um, Poshmark thrifting? Not really. I think of it like consignment. Uh, I guess it's consignment or just secondhand pre love yeah. yeah. So I do buy a lot of secondhand online, mostly on Depop and Poshmark. Um, sometimes Etsy, it depends. I feel like Etsy could be a little bit more expensive than, yeah. right? I but wonder I if they, it's because they, they uh, charge, like, um, I have never done a sale, of, I've never done a shop there, but I wonder if it's, it's because they have <laughs> hidden fees in there. Yeah, I, probably. So I did some shop, the, sh the shorts and the vests that I bought, I bought on Poshmark or Depop. Uh, I've also really been into, I just sparked a, the other thing I'm into is the 70s like dagger collars. Yeah. So I bought a bunch of the, I bought a couple of those this week uh, This too. is not a dagger collar, but <laughs> no, that's, Yeah, 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 80s. Um, so yeah, I do a lot of Depop, Poshmark. When I'm not in quarantine, I do a lot of thrifting. I have some it's, like consign, consignment yeah, shops. It's more fun when you can like feel the fabric and like look at and it in person. Yeah. yeah. Like when I do online shopping, I don't really like I don't buy pant bottoms as much because you never know. So it's mostly like shirts, sweaters, like other like jackets and stuff I'll buy Pops, online. Yeah. Or skirts. Like sometimes skirts are okay, but pants are tricky for me. So I normally don't buy those online. Right. Yeah. I bought a pair of pants online and I made a big mistake. <laughs> it's hard. Like you know, and yeah. especially with vintage sizing and stuff. Like you yeah. never know how it's gonna fit. Yeah, so that's why I, I, I said, don't make my mistake and all like get your tape measure out and ask the seller to get their tape measure out, get those inches and always want to size up maybe, you know, by a little yeah. bit because, um, yeah, you don't want to, you don't want to round down. You want to round up. Inside. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Some, some of the vintage stuff I have, like I'm normally a size four now, like some of the vintage stuff I have is like size 10. Yeah. Like you never know. It's true. The number, don't go by the numbers on the, the tag. Measure yep. the actual garment, right? Yeah. Yep. Cool. So, yep. um, what else do you want to talk about? Some of your skincare? Skincare. Skin so glow. How do you get that glow? So, I think it's like a bunch of, I think it's like a bunch of things. I Maybe do she's wrong with it. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't always used to look like this. I feel like once I adopted like a, a routine and was like on it, it, it definitely got a lot better. I used to be really dry. Same. Um, yeah, so. Tell me, tell me your so, secrets. Yeah, I think the retinol helps a lot. Retinol. Kind of, yeah, so I do like that. Retin -A? Like Retin-A? Um, I use Skin, I've used Skin Medica's retinol. I really like it. Um, they have, do you like, get a prescription from your, your, no. No, I've never been to a dermatologist. Fun fact. Okay. I, need, I need to go because I actually do want to get a prescription one. Yeah. Um, but Did I've been you using... feel like crazy? In the beginning, yeah. So I'm I, afraid. <laughs> it's, uh, it, in the beginning, it sucks because you're like, oh my God, I look disgusting. It's like getting sunburn and just peeling constantly. 
How do you deal with that? (laughs) It sucks. It's like two weeks of that, but you have to (gasps) ease into it. So you like. Well, now's the time to do it, right? Yeah, exactly. Everybody get on your retinol. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. So (laughs) I do retinol. I do um, like vitamin C serum, hyaluronic acid serum. I really like the SkinCeuticals uh, CE Ferulic Serum. It's effing expensive, but it's it lasts like months. So you a so, little goes a long way, kind of. A little thing. goes a long way. You need yeah. like three drops in the morning. Um, I use a hyaluronic acid serum. I really like Eminence. Uh, it's their strawberry rhubarb serum. I like Ooh, that. Those are yummy. I've been for a long time. Eminence. Um, yeah. Eminence, yeah. Eminence Organics. I like their stuff. Um, exfoliating. I really like Dermalogica's. They have this like exfoliating powder that I just put in the shower. I think it's called like the microfoliant. Nice. And it's super lightweight. You could do it every day. It's just like a dry powder. You mix some water into it and you just kind of do circular motions on your face. Um, someone asked me, Skin Medica is the name of the retinol. That's they the one that you use? The derm store. Yeah. Um, what else? Oh, for the glow, I'm really loving uh, Glossier's, I, I think it's called Future Dew. Nice. It's, Is it it's, like an oil or serum? Yeah, kind of like an oil serum combo. And I, I do my normal routine, put my moisturizer on sunscreen, and then I add that on at the end, and it adds like a nice... Ooh. So you like put that nice on after mm-hmm. everything. Oh. Yeah, after everything. And then you can put your makeup on. Oh. I really love that. I recommend that. Just, and it's also great if you like don't want to put makeup on and you just want like a nice glow. Nice. These are great yeah. tips. Okay. Yeah. Right, I'm going to have to like message you again and get all the names because yeah, I don't yeah. any of that I shit actually, down. I I'll listen to it back. I'll watch my live and I'll make notes for everybody. Yeah, I did a YouTube video rec- like uh, probably like actually my last YouTube video that I did, I've been, I haven't posted in like a month, but um, was my skincare routine and I kind of talked through everything. I have all the products listed there. Okay, so good, 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 good. I'm going to def- definitely go check out Cuddle Pills YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, it's YouTube. It's My YouTube is the same as my Instagram. It's Cuddle Pill. Uh, I haven't posted in a bit, but there's going to be a new video coming soon. I, In a normal time, I would be posting weekly. Um, yeah. But yeah, you can check that out to find all the all the products I use. What does somebody ask here? What about hyaluronic acid products? Oh, oh yeah, Eminence. I've tried the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid, too, and I... I thought it was decent and it's like seven bucks, but I tried it. You know what happens when I put that on? You can't put it with many other products. It starts like balling your skin and they're like, I yeah, don't know. I wasn't a fan. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, thanks. I know this is a vintage find. Um, I got it like from a local shop in Chicago. Where did cuddle pill come from? Ah, good question. So I, I read that on your website. Yeah, so it was, I was trying to come up with a name. This was like five years ago when I started everything. And I wanted like one word that was really memorable. And I thought cuddle pill was cute because it was like your daily dose of the warm fuzzies, your daily dose of like, uh, it's kind of like your comfort, your safe space of like where you feel comfortable, like taking chances and pushing your boundaries. And the part is like your daily dose, kind of like. I love that. Like you would take a pill every day. Yeah, it's like take your happy pill. <laughs> yeah, your happy pill, exactly. I love that. I just want to say, like I was saying before, um, that I really like I reached out to you in the past. Like I, sometimes I comment on your stories, and and you're like you're a real person. You're not one of these other style bloggers that I do not mention um, <laughs> who are kind of really robots on here, and they've kind of put up a front. I feel like you're just like this normal, cool, chill lady that I would be oh, friends with. And I really love your vibe, and I love your style, and I really appreciate that about you. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you. That means so much. I try to be my, myself as much as possible on here. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's hard, I guess, like navigating how to like show your personality on a, an app, yeah. right? <laughs> like, yeah, totally. And especially on Instagram where it's just like pictures yeah. and captions. Like I think I do a lot better on video, which is why I kind of, yeah, which is why I like went more, started investing more time in YouTube as well. Just because I feel like it's just such a, it, for me, it's an easier way to just showcase that part, you know? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Just for people to get a feel of who you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah totally. Yeah. yeah, like some people do have like the gift of writing like the
writing like the perfect captions and yep I do not have that <laughs> that's an I art in itself it. yeah it's like yeah and writing these like long and I'm like oh my god I don't have the patience no. to read all this right now no, no. <laughs> yeah I'm the point? Way. no like I'd rather just watch a little short video clip yeah yeah totally I am yeah we're more visual um, well, it's so great chatting with you haha -ha. it's just me photos because I'm awkward okay <laughs> I know. I mean, honestly, everyone has like their own, their own medium. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah, totally. Cool. Well, is there anything else you wanted to chat about or mention? I don't think so. Is there, does anybody else have any questions? Any questions for Cuddle Pill? Well, what's your real name again? Christina. Christina. With a K or C? C H. C H. Yeah. Any questions for Christina Cuddle Pill? Do it now or forever hold your peace. <laughs> I guess not. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Well, it's fine. It's really good talking with you. It's honestly an honor <laughs> to like reach, like to have you, to chat with you oh my on God, my so show. <laughs> so I love it. Are you doing these like every day or what's the? Well, I'm, do I'm doing these twice a week. I'm doing, so what I wanted to do was kind of create some type of community, um, reaching out to female entrepreneurs or uh, style stylists, vloggers, uh, you know, women creatives. And I would love to just like promote them and get to know them a little bit. And, yeah. you know, I've always wanted to interview people and talk with people. And like, I just, I, you know, I think this is the perfect way right now. And like, now that we're all in, indoors. <laughs> I know. You we know, um, yeah. That's really, really why I decided to do this. Um, and so, yeah, so I started up for a Saturday night. Let's let's have a dance party. Let's all dress up. Get your martini. Somebody called it a um, quarantini. <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> and let's, like, you know, talk about style, talk about, chat about beauty, style, have some music playing. I put my disco light on and then, you know, just, like, silly and fun. Cash. I like yeah. that idea of just, like, doing, like, a virtual happy hour with, yeah, basically, oh, yeah. it's just like a happy hour. It, that's exactly so. That's fun. Here are my happy pill, cuddle pill. Oh, thanks. Um, so we're gonna be looking out for you and sending you so much love. Thank you so much. So great to connect with you. Likewise. And we're just waiting for um, the vintage. Where, where's my vintage lady? My vintage shop seller coming on. Mad thrifty. Um, she's coming on soon. So she. I don't know if she has a store in her town in Baltimore. He's selling online right now. It must be tough for the brick and mortar business. No, I was gonna say it would be interesting to hear kind of her take of like how she's surviving the new yeah. climate. You know? Yeah, yeah, it's it's interesting. Everyone's like pivoting online. <laughs> I know. Yeah. All so, right. Well, anytime off. you want to chat again, yeah, I'm here. Sure. For sure. Thanks. I for just love you. I lo I'm such a big fan. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everyone. All right. So I'm just waiting here for Mad Thrifty. Is she on here? Where is she? Well, if she's not on here, we might have to uh, go on another day because um, it's rainy. Oh, yeah. Or pink pants, but I'm not sure if I want to. So if you guys have any questions. Lots of gold, layering, a few minutes. 